Hi, today I'm going to cover very briefly the new tool that we've added, or one of the new tools, which is the database cards tool. This tool is based very loosely around uh, Google Keep, which I, I quite liked as a tool for storing information, so I tried to replicate. It may not have all the features that I want yet, uh, so I suspect this might be something we see have more features added to it as we go along and it gets more use. The way this works is it's effectively a database of cards for you, which you, you can tag with hashtags, um, which are appear in the menu at the side. Um, and clicking on these will filter the contents to whatever it is you've got in your hashtags. Uh, if you show all, you'll see we've got all these. These can be displayed in two ways, either as a sort of single list or as a grid. Uh, it's quite easy to add a card. You click on the Add button, and you get a little pop-up box. Um, there are currently three different Add buttons on screen, purely for convenience. And uh, this one here is more for mobile users, uh, because it's quite handy to have a button at the bottom of the screen. And then you can literally click this, and you can jump straight to the camera and take a photo uh, on a mobile and, and put it into this Thing. So if I go to photos, I'll choose one of the dog. There we go. Dog's in there. I'll choose another one and the dog again. And another one of the dog. And I will call this card Ollie. <laughs> Here's the name of the dog. Uh -huh. Ollie. And after you've typed a hashtag, you don't need to add the hash. You just need to type it in and press return. It will add the hash automatically. Um, he's a dog, so I'll put that in. Um, he's a sprolly. Yep. So that's him. Uh, you can write a little bit about him. I'm not going to bother. And if you click Save Changes, it will create a card called Ollie. It will also update the menu at the side so you can quickly find it. This is also sorted alphabetically. One little trick I do is if I've got uh, something that's sort of a general theme, like I want to group a bunch of character cards together or scenes together, I'd create a little hashtag of my own which with an at symbol in which puts it at the top of the list so you'll have at characters at scenes at locations whatever it is you want to do um, however i'm looking specifically for something about the hero so i'll click this i get the hero traits card editing's quite easy again just pull it up from here i can choose to upload an image i'm going to make ollie the hero and save that and the photo of ollie appears in here you can view the images by simply clicking on them and that gives you a preview of them um, if you need to download them again, you can save as. However, they have been resized down to fit into the app. They're not at full quality, so don't use this as a way of storing full quality images, because otherwise you will fill up the files whenever you try and transfer. You end up with very, very large files transferring stuff to and from the web. And that is the basics of the, the hashtag tool. You literally will... I'm not sure how people are going to use this yet. Um, I imagine it will be a note-taking feature, and I'd be very interested to see if you have a way you use it. Share it with me. I'd love to see what I can do. It might spark a new idea that I can add a feature that will make it easier for you to use. Now, WaveMaker is free software, and I hope you enjoy using it. Uh, but if you feel the need to support us, or if you want to support me, by all means, come along and become a patron. There are links on the website and in the video comments below.